Hey, Oliver, it's Men's Health. Hey, Men's Health. I hear you guys want to take a look at my gym and my fridge. Come on in, let's go do it. Let's go check out your fridge. Welcome to my fridge that today is a little bit better stocked than it usually is, but uh, you don't need to know that. Do you follow a certain kind of diet? So I have been vegan for about six and a half, coming on seven years now, uh, which means no dairy, no eggs, obviously no meat, no fish, nothing that has uh, an animal base to it. I went vegan purely for ethical reasons. I, I really, I like animals uh, and I didn't necessarily want to eat them, but I, I also understand that that is a decision that you know, I made for myself. Just become my lifestyle now. I, I don't really have to think twice about it. Any staples that are always in your fridge? So one thing that I always, always have in my fridge up here, um, and I, I make these, I don't buy them, overnight oats, basically just oats, milk, there's some protein powder in here. Super easy to put together, you can put whatever you want in it. Uh, we have some lean protein sources, things like tofu, tempeh, there's some seitan, things that I think on a vegan diet you do sometimes have to think twice about. Oftentimes that they make this mistake that you can get adequate amounts of protein from things like grains or beans or nuts and, and these are all great food choices but they're not necessarily primary sources of protein and what I mean by that is I have some garbanzo beans in here right seven grams of protein uh, three and a half servings so what's that 24 25 grams of protein but there's also 70 grams of carbohydrates in here so you can see great for a carbohydrate source to fuel your workouts but not necessarily a primary source of protein uh, in the way that something like tofu where one block here, this is gonna have 70 grams of protein in it for 10 grams of carbohydrates. So a much better primary protein if, if you're trying to hit certain numbers when it comes to that macronutrient. Do you like to cook? I'm not a very good cook. It's not that I'm not a good cook. I do enjoy cooking with other people, but I just, I never make the efforts. It's much more a case of fueling myself than it is making it taste fantastic. What would a typical day of eating look like? My first meal of the day is always going to be the overnight oats. A couple of hours after I train, I'm probably going to have something like tofu with a grain and some vegetables. A snack that I always like is a uh, plant-based yogurt. They're, they're usually like cashew or coconut based. And then I'll mix in some like strawberry jam and some protein powder um, as, a, as a nice kind of mid-afternoon snack. And then dinner, some kind of protein source with a grain. It is important they have different amino acid profiles than animal-based proteins do. So it's important to get a, a mixture of different protein sources so that you hit all, all the amino acids that you need. So you really have to consider when eating this way. Do you drink coffee? Uh, black coffee, every morning, black coffee tends to be uh, my first port of call. What are your comfort foods? I'm a burger connoisseur. Uh, there's something about everything being contained in one bite burgers over everything. How do you stay healthy while on set? Yeah, so I, I, I meal prep. Um, for days on set on 911. If, if I don't, then I end up on set. I, I, I drift over to the crafty table a little bit too often. You know, I play a firefighter on 911 and I, I feel like there is a pressure to kind of honor the athleticism of real world firefighters. It makes my choices a lot, a lot easier to stick to, I think, in the long run. Any foods you can't stand? So it used to be bell peppers. I always thought I hated bell peppers. I have lots of them because it turns out I just never had bell peppers. And for some reason, when I was a kid, I thought I don't like them. And now they've become such a staple in my diet. And now I just sit here all day and chomp on them. All right, can you see my fridge? Let's go check out my gym. I'm bringing this with me. do you work out? So I train five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, upper body, lower body, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, push, pull, legs. How important is rest between workouts? At the end of every fifth week, I take a deload week where I, I still train, 
but I want to let myself recover. So I cut way back on my volume, load and intensity to account for the fatigue that I would have built up over the past five weeks. Are you on a specific workout regimen? Uh, no, I, I don't train any particular program. I do my own programming. I, I've worked with different trainers over the years and kind of found the thing that works for me in the sense of it works for my body, but then it also works for me mentally. Has your lookout on fitness changed since working on 911? I think I think when I started 911, I became a, a lot more aware and focused on on my real world strength as well as just wanting to look a certain way. Playing a firefighter, there's a lot of things I do on the show where I have to pick people up or hold gear at awkward angles, and it gives me a lot of confidence. If, if the director is Oliver, do you think you can pick this person up? Absolutely. It makes me feel really good about myself. It makes me feel connected in the scene. I think it gives the other actor that I have to manhandle a lot of confidence. What's your favorite workout? I like a leg day. It's the workout where I really feel like I put in some real work coming out the other side of it. What makes a workout intense? You know, for, for me, intensity is not so much about exercise selection as it is about every rep is, is focused. I'm in control of it. It has full range of motion. So after it, I'm coming out on the other side feeling like I, I've been through a lot more. What is the gym equipment you can't live without? I think kettlebells. I don't think there's any better tool that, that kind of has muscle building capability, but also uh, can, can benefit you when it comes to total body athleticism. What's your advice for someone starting their fitness journey? Try lots of different things. Find the thing that you enjoy. It can all work. It all has the potential to get you fitter. Key being consistency, and you're much more likely to be consistent at something that you enjoy. That would really be the key for me. Do you have a favorite tattoo? Yeah, I do. Um, I have here on my left shoulder, I have a flower, I have a couple on my right shoulder as well. I embrace softness and, and, and being gentle and you know, I chase vulnerability and that's, that's kind of what the flowers represent to me. And I think it's the balance of the hard and the pushing myself in here and the being open and, and delicate in the rest of the world that really feels like peace to me. What are your ultimate fitness goals? I'm about halfway through a 12 week cut. I'm trying to drop body fat and, and retain muscle. Um, so the way that I go about that is I track everything. I track my workouts, I track my steps, I, I weigh myself every day and I take a weekly average to kind of account for daily fluctuations on the scale. And then I uh, set my calories to make sure that I, I, I losing weight at a sustainable rate. Idea being that minimize muscle loss and maximize fat loss. All right, it's rapid fire time. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. CrossFit, yeah or not? Nah? Yeah, sure. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Kettlebells. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Ah, big arms. Hiking or biking? Hiking. Protein bars or protein shakes? Shakes. If you could work out with anyone in the world, who would it be? Ah, it's gonna be my friends back in England. Listen, men's health, it's been lovely. Saw my gym, saw my fridge. I'm exhausted. I have to go jump in the shower. See you guys later.